while traffic congestion is still making lives unbearable for business owners and people residing or working in Lagos seaport environment. CVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. Apapa and Tinkan Island are the areas housing Nigeria's biggest port complex in Lagos. But the past few years have seen a gradual degradation of the seaport environment. The unending traffic congestion, worsened by ongoing constructions around the port's corridor, have made living and working in the Lagos seaport vicinity unbearable. Manufacturing companies and other businesses are losing revenue, running into millions of dollars as they incur more cost due to the man hour loss to the port environment gridlock, which erodes the ease of doing business. John Anene is a business owner who has been in operation for over two decades in Apapa, but the incessant traffic has adversely affected his business. I've been doing business in Apapa and its environment, this port's environment, for the past 25 years. And um, we have never had it so bad. For the past three years, at least, it's been terribly bad. The congestion, the traffic is highly uh, unmanageable. Nobody can manage this kind of uh, stress and still uh, live. A lot of people have moved out of this place. I lost, or I, a lot of my staff stopped coming. And myself, I dropped some because of impact on profitability. It has increased the cost of doing business. Formerly, I had up to 40 staff here, but now we barely have 15. Despite several interventions by the federal government, long queues of tankers and container trucks still block access roads within the port's corridor. For users of the port, putting up an efficient truck call-up system would alleviate subsisting problems, while residents are wondering if there is a conspiracy to force them out of the seaport environment. Industries are gone. Companies are gone. Many banks have closed shops here. We only have very few banks scattered in little places, some little ones, some few places around our papa. They're all gone because they can't even have, have access to their offices. Their workers are dying in installments, out of stress. I've lost about 70% of my clients who will do business with in a papaya because they cannot do business in a papa. So it's really bad, it's really difficult. If you drive around a papa from GRA to the CBD area, most of the properties are empty. It's like um, there's a grand conspiracy somewhere to try and um, kick all the residents out of Abapa and make use of Abapa as part of the port. Maybe they should come out open and let us understand that. A survey conducted in 2019 by the organized private sector revealed that Nigeria loses about 3.06 trillion naira on non-oil export and about 2.5 trillion naira earnings annually across the different sectors of the economy due to a papa gridlock. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.